afternoon guys in this video we are going to see how to find the general solution of this non-homogeneous differential equation using superposition technique and we know that in superposition technique to find the general solution we have to find the complementary solution also we have to find the particular solution so the equation is going to look like this this is our general solution that is equal to complementary solution plus particular solution finding complementary solution is easiest one because we equalize this one to zero and then we create the characteristic equation and then we find the real roots and there are three different cases if we have equal real roots there's a pattern if we have distinct real root there's a pattern and when we have compli I mean complex numbers there's a pattern here you will get complex number and the complementary solution is going to be this now I'm going to write down the complementary solution and I'm going to just focus on the particular solution because that's going to be the difficult one. Now let's write the complementary solution here. Yc is going to be equal to e power half x okay, times c1 cos square root of 3 by 2. So this is a complex number. You will get complex real roots. So the, the general solution, I mean the complementary solution is going to be in this pattern root 3 by 2 x plus c2 sine root 3 by 2 x so this is going to be the complementary solution now let's focus on finding the particular solution to find the particular solution the first step is we have to create an equation that matches this g of x g of x is, is the function after this equal sign and here we have sine 3x but here I'm going to put cos 3x also. Okay, let's see why. So let's say yp, this is our particular solution. That's, that's going to be equal to a cos 3x plus b sin 3x. And you can see in our g of x function, we only have sin 3x. Why do we have this cos 3x? The reason we have this one is because when we take the derivative of this one, we will to get cos 3x right so we, when we take the derivative we get cos so whatever whatever the function you get when we when you take derivative you have to include everything that's why we have cos 3x right here right now in order to do this problem we have to find the first derivative and the second derivative because we are going to plug this one back in this equation now let's find the first derivative here this is going to be a chain rule first we take the outside derivative then we take the inside derivative if you take the outside derivative this is going to be minus a sin 3x but if you take the inside derivative that's going to be 3 because 3 derivative of 3x that's going to be 3 so i multiply this one by negative 3 a sin 3x and in the other side we are going to have again this is also going to be a chain rule but this is going to be positive because derivative of sine is going to be plus cos 3x and inside derivative is going to be 3 so this is going to be 3 b cos 3x now the second derivative yp double prime and if you take the derivative of this one this is going to be minus 9 because inside derivative again is going to be 3 so we multiply this one by 3 that's going to be 9 a cos 3x and uh, this is going to become minus right now because if we take derivative of cos that's going to become minus sine so this is going to be minus and again inside derivative is going to be 3 so we multiply this one by 3 that's going to make this one 9 9b sine 3x now we have found out the first derivative and the second derivative now pl we, we can plug it back in this equation to find out this a b values that's our purpose of creating this equation okay now let's let's go ahead and plug it in this equation so first we have y double prime that is this one minus 9 a cos 3x minus 9 b sin 3x and then we have minus y prime y prime is this one that is 3 a sin 3x okay that's minus so we have to be careful about the sign minus I put the bracket here minus 3 sin 3a sin 3x 
plus 3b cos 3x and after that we have plus y so plus y is this one a cos 3x plus b sin 3x that's equal to this 2 sin 3x other side of equation 2 sin 3x now here we are going to equate the coefficients right but in the other side of the equation we have sin 3x but to illustrate we have also cos 3x I'm going to put 0 cos 3x because we have to equate cos 3x too so 0 cos 3x since we don't have any cos 3x in the other side of the equation I put 0 in front so it means there's no, no cos 3x 0 cos 3x now let's uh, combine the like terms together I'm going to combine sin and cos together let's combine sines first we have minus 9b sine so let's put them in the bracket minus 9b maybe I write it with a different color okay minus 9b and uh, also here we have minus 3a sin 3x but here we have minus 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 that's going to make this one plus so this is going to be plus 3a and uh, we have another sin 3x that's b b sin 3x so this is going to be plus b all together sin 3x and then let's look at the cos signs here we have minus 9a minus 9a and here we have 3b this is plus but here we have negative negative plus that's going to be negative negative 3b cos 3x so negative 3b and uh, here we have a cos 3x so that's going to be plus a cos 3x that's equal to 2 sin 3x plus 0 cos 3x okay now we can simplify this one furthermore like we can add this b and this ni minus 9b that's going to make, make this one 3a minus 8b sin 3x and uh, this is going to become minus 8a minus 8a minus 3b cos 3x and in the other side of the equation we have 2 sin 3x plus 0 cos 3x now here we are going to equate the coefficients now let's look at the term in front of sin 3x 3a minus 8b and here we have 2 okay I'm going to equate that one so this is going to be 3a minus 8b is equal to 2 the second equation is going to be minus 8a minus 3b that's in, in front of cos 3x and here we have 0 so this is going to be minus 8a minus 3b is equal to 0 now you can solve this one using many different method I'm going to just rearrange this second equation let's say this first second I'm going to rearrange this second equation and find the a in terms of b so this is going to become minus 8a is equal to 3b then a is going to be equal to minus 3 over 8 b now we can plug this one in the first equation to solve for b so 3 times instead of a I plug this one so this is going to be negative 3 over 8 b okay then we have minus 8b since we have the denominator 8 it's better to make this one also denominator 8 to do that I multiply top and bottom by 8 that's going to make this one 64 divided by 8 b is equal to 2 now this is going to become minus 9 over 8 minus 64 over 8 minus 9 minus 64 that's going to be become minus 73 over 8 73 over 8 b is equal to 2 now let's see what we can do so we can multiply this one this side so so that's going to make this one okay let's see minus 9 minus 64 minus 73 over 8 okay seems like there's a mistake let's see what's going on minus 3 hmm. 
okay he had minus 73 over 8 b is equal to 2 okay this is correct actually so b is equal to from this one we derived b is equal to 16 over 73 that's negative okay negative in front so this is our first solution now we have to figure out what is our a values to find the a value we can substitute that uh, that one here okay a is equal to negative 3 over 8 times negative 16 over 73 and you you can see that this is going to become 2 so negative 3 negative 2 that's going to become positive 6 positive 6 over 73 is going to be our a value now we have a value and b value now we can write our particular solution so the particular solution is going to be a cos 3x a is this one 6 over 73 so 6 over 73 cos 3x cos 3x and uh, plus okay here we have minus so let's erase this one because b is minus minus 16 over 73 so this is going to be minus 16 over 73 sin x so this is our particular solution now we have 3x okay so we have particular solution and we have the complementary solution after that we all we have to do is just add them together you just plus and if you put the value that's going to be our general solution for this differential equation and that's how we do this kind of problems i hope this helps Thanks for watching.